Are there any particular lifestyle changes or dietary considerations that can naturally enhance respiratory health during peak season? Yes, absolutely. So um, I recommend that patients get enough sleep. So the, what does that mean? It means you know, seven to eight hours of sleep a night. Uh, find a way to decrease stress in their life, um, whether that is regular exercising, meditation, or yoga, and eat a balanced diet rich in foods like leafy greens and beets, which contain nitrate, and avoid tobacco smoking. And these can help maintain optimal nitric oxide levels and, and, and boost their immune system throughout the respiratory season. With your expertise, can you share any success stories of patients who have benefited from nitric oxide therapy for respiratory concerns during the seasonal peaks? Yes, they would come to me looking for help. I would start by testing them for nutrient deficiencies like nitric oxide and vitamin D, then start them on my immune boost protocol, which includes nitric oxide. We would follow up in a week after they started the regimen, and the results were honestly incredible. Uh, they would have energy again, and they felt like they could breathe. They returned to activities of daily living and started to feel more like themselves again. Now my patients swear by the regimen and take it all year long. One of my patients has even completed a half marathon in her late 80s. It's incredible to see her thrive. What are one to two top tips on tools or technology available to providers as they prepare for respiratory illness season? And so offer respiratory point of care testing in your pharmacy. Patients need testing and it can be hard to get, especially during the peak season. And one of my favorite tools is mass messaging. Um, you can use it to let patients know about testing services that you offer and supplements that they should start on as they head into respiratory season. It's something every pharmacy should utilize to get the word out about their awesome services. In your opinion, what are some potential challenges or misconceptions that patients may have regarding respiratory health and flu season that you can address? Yeah, so get the flu vaccine early and yearly. It takes six weeks for your immune system to create a full response to the vaccination. So getting it in September means you will be protected come November. Supplements uh, work to help boost your immune system, but you must take them daily, start ahead of the season, and test regularly to make sure you are at the optimal level. What exciting advancements or research do you foresee for POCT and nitric oxide, and how do you believe it will impact patient care in the future? There are advancements in research being made in the gut-brain axis and the power of this connection. With 80% of your immunity living in your gut, optimizing gut health is key to a healthy immune system, cognitive function, and longevity. I find that really fascinating. If we can decrease inflammation throughout our entire body using nitric oxide, we can impact our epigenetics. This has the potential to prevent disease and possibly even reverse it. Uh, very excited to see what the future holds as more is discovered about the gut brain axis and epigenetics. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Schneider. Oh, thank you.